And in fact, it was law enforcement that brought you up to San Luis Obispo. And I don't know if you remember this, but you told me during that time that you felt that the Lord had called you to move up there to the Central Coast. And it was a little bit confusing to then have move up, and now you feel like you're transitioning out of the very reason that God brought you there. We didn't know all the answers of what God had in store for you, but you did remain in slow after that. And I think now we can all see one big reason that God had you move up to slow, and you are standing next to that reason today. to have the opportunity to speak in front of you all today to celebrate the marriage of Cassidy and my new brother-in-law, Chris. I want to thank you for loving Cassidy the way she deserves to be loved and for making her feel so cherished. So, let us toast the Beamans and their future. We are all rooting for you. God made Chris to perfectly compliment you. He made him to be your head and leader. He made him to be your protector and provider. You will glorify God by seeing and treating him as God's good gift to you. He is not perfect, but perfect for you. Hi, Cassidy Hecking. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Chris Beeman. Take you, Chris Beeman. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I, Chris Beeman, take you, Cassidy Hacking. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For rich or for poor. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I give you this ring. As, as a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And a seal upon our vows. As a seal upon our vows. And it is with this ring. It's but this ring. That I thee wed. That I thee wed. Come on, baby, take a leap of faith. We got a love that's worth the wait. It is my privilege now, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to declare them Don't husband and wife. That which God has joined together, let no man separate. Chris, you may kiss your bride. And I know you're the one. Our story is just because I'm never gonna let you go. It is my pleasure to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Chris Beeman. And I know you're the one Our story is just begun I'm never gonna let you go Dear beautiful, gracious God, we thank you for your provision, for your love, for your grace, for your mercy. We thank you for this beautiful couple that you have brought together. May they always live in your light and your love and your grace and be a beautiful reflection to those around them. He is now starting a new adventure. And this time, though, he will have someone very dear to walk through the adventure with him. Cassidy, we welcome you into our family. Well, I am, uh, 
I'm humbled and honored to to offer you guys a toast on on your wedding day, and and I know that your your uh, your wedding has already been blessed by by God and the Holy Spirit that lives beneath within each one of you. And as I think about all the advice that I could I could give as you go through the perils of of life and loving and caring for one another, I can tell you this: wear sunscreen. Congratulations. Chris, you've come a long way from doing my homework. Thank you. <laughs> Cassidy, you are the perfect match for Chris. I wish you guys nothing but happiness. So a toast to Chris and Cassidy. Cheers. Love you guys. Cassie and I are very happy to be married together and to share that with all of you. So to all of you, a toast. Thank you for being here. Pray for us. Think about us. Send us cards telling us how beautiful California still is while you're here. <laughs> <laughs>